everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for June 26, 2022. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and stress, resiliency, coping is such a big part of the behavior work that I do because it is so important to keep in mind stress or I should say when snakes start to become stretched outside of their comfort zone or distressed as well as their body language and what it's telling me as I'm working with the snakes doing behavior studies, and as I'm training them. So I thought it would be a good time to review and refresh what stress is and how that equates to the body language chart with the green zone, the yellow zone, and the red zones. What is stress? Stress is a physiological response to a stimulus causing a disruption in the status quo. This may include things like a response to some sort of change, a challenging or exciting experience, a reaction to something unpleasant or seemingly inescapable circumstances, or any experience that results in fear, anxiety, or other emotional distress. There is a triggering event, which is going to have been physical or psychological, a disruption or challenge to the status quo. There's gonna be something that disrupts your baseline. You are just cruising along normally and something happened and now you are pushed out of your baseline comfort and relaxation status. This could be something really exciting like you won the lottery or it could be something really distressing like you got in a car accident. It's the same for our animals. There is also a physiological reaction which includes an increase in glucocorticoids. Remember that not all stress is bad. Without experiencing and overcoming challenges, snakes and other animals, including humans, would not learn, grow, and improve. There is good stress, which is when your snake or other animal may be aroused, excited, experiencing a challenging situation, or just working really hard to find resources or to accomplish a goal. behavior chart with the green, yellow, and red zones? Well, good stress would be when the snake's body language is in the green zone or just maybe between the green and yellow zone. Perhaps the snake's getting stretched outside of their comfort zone just a little bit, but they're continuing to engage in an activity which is challenging them or they feel excited about. And this is beneficial in the long run and it's not distressing at the moment or in the short term. Here is a reminder about what body language starts to look like when the animal is distressed. That's gonna be your tolerable stress, which is distressing, but your snake can cope, can recover, and moves on, which results in learning and growth. And this would look like those behaviors in the yellow zone of the behavior chart. The snake may display short-term distress, but they are going to be returning to baseline quickly or they may pause to assess a situation and then continue with an activity or retreat from the activity. They return to comfortable and relaxed quickly once the stressor is removed or the snake has been removed or taken away from the stressor. It is distressing at the time, but it's not permanently distressing and it causes no permanent damage and the snake is fully able to recover. All right, here's a reminder about 
the red zone and the type of distress that we want to avoid in our snake at all costs. That's called toxic stress. And toxic stress is always bad. Toxic stress is distressing at the time and it is often distressing long after the event has occurred. The snake or other animal cannot cope and often doesn't recover. It can leave permanent psychological damage and you may not see a return to baseline behavior for your animal. Red zone behaviors would indicate the snake is in the realm of toxic stress. If the situation is not remedied immediately, if the snake is left in that state, the stress reaches the level of toxic. All right, everyone, now it's your turn. I have a few videos that follow this and I want you to watch each one and then write down, remember in your head or put in the comments what you think. Are the snakes in these videos exhibiting good, tolerable or toxic stress? It may not be as easy as you think. Well, what did you think? And can you know for sure? You actually need a bigger picture than what I showed you here in most cases. You need to ask yourself, how does the snake behave after the event and in the future? Good and tolerable stress that the snake experiences, they're going to return to a comfortable and relaxed state. They're gonna start exhibiting normal behavior again. They may even be more confident and outgoing, more engaged with the environment, they may have an increased appetite for a while and increased hunting behavior because they're feeling all brave and confident and they're excited from the experiences that they had. And they certainly may be more curious and more eager to engage with you in their environment. If the snake experienced toxic stress after the event, you may see that the animal is more tense and even more reactive than they were before, more fearful. They may have reduced activity and behave more lethargically. They may exhibit increased escape and avoidance behavior, trying to get away from things in the environment, including you, more than they did before. They may have a reduced appetite or they may drink less water. You may notice dysectesis, which is poor shedding or other health issues long term. The snake may hide more and be visible less. 
They may have increased defensiveness. They may start exhibiting stereotypies or just completely shut down. I want to thank you so much for your time, for your interest in animal training, behavior, enrichment, and welfare. I want to thank you for watching, for interacting with the activity in this video, and for learning. Contact me if you have comments, questions, or further points for discussion. And if you enjoyed this activity, consider joining our Patreon community at patreon.com slash behavior education. Until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.